the Pacific Northwest Secondary Sorting Demonstration Project is a 60-day trial where we've moved Titus sorting equipment up from their LA facility, and we're bringing in samples from local MRFs. These are materials that are residuals off their container line, some of which is headed for landfill. This pilot program gives us the ability to show stakeholders what, what additional materials can be recovered from our recycling system. Our primary MRFs do a great job recovering 80 to 90% of the materials put in the blue bin, but beyond that, it's difficult to sort the low volume materials in the waste stream. We use high-tech equipment, but it's all about aggregating materials, low volume materials into one facility for a whole region so we can justify the investment in those high-tech machines. So what the portable sorting system does is feed the material through a vibratory screener to remove small materials, less than two inches in size. It also removes any film or light fiber that could get in the way of good optical sorting. And then the main sorting step is a near-infrared optical sorter, basically giving you a fingerprint of what the material type is, whether it's a fiber or a plastic. We can tell what the material type is by scanning it. And then we do this in order to show how a MRF can recover each individual material by type. We can also increase recycling rates for plastics, which is very important not only to Barry, but to the rest of the plastics industry. A lot of our customers, the brand owners, have set very aggressive goals for recycled content. By implementing this model, not only in Portland, but in other regions around the country, we can generate more of the high quality PCR that is needed to meet these brand owner goals. This technology and this solution can really help us bridge the gap between what we see as growing demand and our current inability to sort that material for value so that we don't have to retrofit all 700 plus MRFs around the country. We can install regional solutions. Part of what we do is we manage the region's solid waste and recycling system for the 2.4 million residents in the metro region. This partnership is important to Metro because for us to manage plastics and other materials for the future, it's likely going to take a group effort that involves industry, government, and consumers. For the past 20 years, we've exported our difficult to recycle materials to China and other Southeast Asian countries. With China's national sword policy, as well as import bans from other Southeast Asian countries, we found that we need to build up infrastructure in the U.S. to sort this material domestically. Also, there's growing demand for a lot of the lower volume resins, such as polypropylene, polystyrene, and we need to have the capacity to produce these materials to get them to the new markets that are emerging. We hope to answer a couple of fundamental questions. First, what additional volumes can be captured and created for recycling through secondary sorting? Second, how can we positively change the economics of recycling when we're creating additional value? We're excited to partner with Plastics as well as the other project funders to show the potential this model has at capturing value from materials that would otherwise be landfilled and keeping them in the circular economy. This project for us is all about researching another way to potentially recover more material from curbside recycling. I think as Oregonians, we have a real environmental ethic and recycling is at the core of it. So to be able to do something to help improve our system gives me personal satisfaction, but on a professional level, the plastics industry doesn't want to see any of our products ending up in the environment, and we want to ensure they're going to their highest and best use. And projects like this help ensure that we can improve our system and deliver on that.